In this video, we're going to go over general navigation and searching in Claim Wizard. Once you're logged into your Claim Wizard system, you have several options to get around within Claim Wizard, most of which include clicking. As far as general navigation goes, when you first log in, you're going to be at your home screen and there's these jump tabs that run along the bottom. You can kind of hover over them and they will tell you what they're for. You can jump to the client section, to the claims section, to your company section, which is everybody but your own company. Um, if available for you, staff, reports, the Claim Wizard library, and if you have security clearance, the backend administration of Claim Wizard. When you're at your home tab, which is where you start off, you're going to be greeted with four tabs, dashboard, open claims, action item, and messages. You'll notice during all of our training videos that Claim Wizard operates in one browser tab. We don't open up new tabs in your browser when you open new claims, new clients, reports, etc. Everything operates in here. It's to your best interest not to use the back button or the forward button if available in your web browser as that will reload the entire Claim Wizard application. Everything you need in Claim Wizard should be clickable right from your screen. So what we're going to do here is we're going to show you dashboard information. The first column generally has information regarding your company in Claim Wizard. If you have upcoming deadlines, they will appear here. Your quick look is here. Uh, here you can see in this company we have 50 open claims. Nine of them are assigned to me, 58 clients, 43 clients with open claims, etc. If you are logged in as an assignable user, an adjuster, an estimator, etc., you will only see and be able to view claims that are specifically assigned to you as a person as whatever role that you're performing on that claim. So there may be 100 open claims in the company, but you only have access to 50. In this demonstration, I am set as an executive of the company, and that's why I see 50 open claims and only nine of them are assigned to me. Executives in Claim Wizard are the owners of your company and they have all rights everywhere, including delete rights when appropriate to their Claim Wizard domain. Also as an office staff user, you will see the full number of claims available to you in Claim Wizard. So that is your entire open book of business but you will generally see zero claims assigned to you because an office staff person is not an assignable user. They cannot be assigned to work on specific claims and as such, they cannot be uh, included in paperwork that gets generated, um, commission breakdown payments that get uh, generated, fees, things like that. They also do not have access to the back end of Claim Wizard, the financial module, which we'll cover in another video. Now, if you scroll, because that's our rule in Claim Wizard, if you don't see something scroll, you're going to see Claim Phase Summary, and that runs across every claim that you have security clearance to see. So here you can see only the claim phases that are active in, in your Claim Wizard will show up here. So here you can see we have one claim in planning, two claims in evaluation, uh, two claims in originated, which is the first phase that we put claims in for you. I have 25 claims sitting in scheduling ex inspection, etc. So as you can see here, you can scroll and you can start to see where your bottlenecks may be. So half of your claim load is currently sitting in ins scheduling inspection. So that might be something that you want to take a look at. Now the center column is for you. It's not company wide, it's just specifically for you. If you have an assignable account, you will have any newly assigned claims listed to you here on your dashboard. Office staff users don't have this. It'll just say there are no new claims that have been recently assigned to you. Watch claims are akin to bookmarking a claim. So rather than having to remember you know, the claim number of the client that you wanna keep an eye on, each person is eligible to bookmark or watch the claims that they choose to. And then claims that are assigned to you or that you have security clearance to see with recent activity and they will show up here. The third column is Claim Wizard specific. If we have any notifications or free training that we offer, it will show up here. And if you scroll, 
uh, this getting started will always appear and these are kind of jump tabs to help you get to some of the more commonly used features in claim wizard quickly so. next up as far as general navigation goes is your open claims tab and here in your open claims tab you're going to have a workbench that is basically your open book of business if a claim is closed or settled or canceled it will not show up here but you can always get to it via a search or a report. There's a lot of information here. So again, our rolled claim wizard to scroll either up and down or sometimes left to right. So as you can see here, there are a lot of columns. Maybe I care about some of them, maybe I don't. Maybe I want to care about how old a claim is and it's open, you can drag that information over, not a problem. Um, there are some pieces of information that we kind of have to show you just because they're a core of the claim. But if you'd like to, you can click filter and you can see that I'm hiding litigation, right? So if a phase is litigation, I hide it. I took it all off. I'm going to save it. So now I see even litigation claims. So if I searched in litigation, if I had any, they would be in here. You can also choose options to determine which columns you would like to see some like file number and client and your options obviously and alert have to be shown but the rest are optional if you don't necessarily work with contract date or age or last updated etc you can turn them off to your liking in claim wizard anytime you see a blue link for your internal file number your client or your client you can click on them and it will provide you a client quick view, or in the case of a claim, a claim quick view screen. These pieces of information are generally designed if you have a quick phone call, if you're looking to get a quick status on things, so that it, you're using it as a jumping off point. Of course, you can scroll here if there was more information. We will generally show you the, for the last or the most recent five activity logs, which is your diary entries, and then some other information like policyholder details, loss details, claim summary, etc. From here, the blue up arrow is always an update claim button, and it will always give you this uh, dialogue entry. The green pencil is always edit or view a full claim, so we can view the full claim from there. I'm going to jump back home so I could show you. Here, if you hover on it, you can see you can edit policyholder information and then you can act quickly access templates from here. But if you're not interested in getting this sidebar all of the time and having to kind of do two extra clicks, as you look at a piece of information, um, say file number, you can hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and click the file number or the claim or the client name and it will bypass the sidebar and get you directly into the claim. As you can see here, I have multiple claims open. They are all still within the constraints of this one web browser tab. So you can click around. There's tabs inside of tabs. Of course, each column is able to be clicked on and sorted. And there is a search workbench option here. So if you are just looking for something that says home or um, a specific, uh, adjuster or assignable here if you just want to search for part of their name it's just a quick search there are other ways to get reports and narrow down views of this but this is just kind of quick so you can do your day-to-day -day work of course you can print this you can export it etc if you want to turn off certain claim conditions you can do that as well we also do offer the list view which kind of looks like excel or a split view if you're looking to get more detailed information here you can see very limited information on a claim and then you get the claim summary in the two-thirds box that you can see here next up on your dashboard is your action items your action items are specifically for you you can go and view my action items explicitly assigned means they're given to you by name not role so as you can see here, I'm looking at my action items that are not explicitly assigned. So I am the adjuster on this claim, or I am listed as the executive, you know, that the executive needs to do something on a claim. But if I clicked explicitly assigned, 
it would ask me if we had a person and you can see here destiny's name she is explicitly assigned to this task not a group of people or a, a status on a claim so here you can go through all of your staff if you want to see what a specific person has coming up and see what's in there of course you can go back further if you need to most people honestly will jump between all action items and my action items and these of course can be sorted as well you can sort by task and if you don't see all of your action items of course we have four pages here you can add as many as you want in here if i want to show all of them i can show all 38 current action items that are here i can scroll and see them all now of course this does work like a spreadsheet in the fact that if you click the column it will sort it we like sorting by possibly tasks so you can group like items with like items so if you want to sit and send client welcome packets you can do two at a time and batch your work together notify carrier etc you'll see in my demo system most of my action items are overdue if it is standard red it is overdue if it is reverse red it is a critical task that has become overdue most people honestly when they get in here they're going to ser search by due date put the oldest on the top and kind of work first in first out hopefully if you are waiting for anything you can set that here so if a action item is going to run late you can notify and record in your system why it's running late if we go over here you're going to see a blue up arrow. Blue up arrow is always update. You can hit the update claim. It'll open the claim. You can add it. But if you hit the edit action item pencil, it is going to open up that specific action item. So maybe you need to change who it is assigned to. Maybe you want to, no, we said the back button. Maybe you want to change the date. So we can say, oh, um, it's due tomorrow instead kind of thing waiting for this is what we would consider if somebody else external to you is holding up your ability to complete an action item i would document that here um if the carrier adjuster keeps canceling his appointments because he's out sick notify you know note that in the system save it and it will show up in here so that you know later on if you need to pull this documentation for legal reasons what was going on with it of course there are options here you can pick and choose the action item columns that you'd like to see and then you can print or export this you can also choose to look at criticals only or group them by claim so this can be helpful so you specifically know if you are on the phone with someone related to this Smith claim that there are two action items currently due on it. Acme Company is a representation of a commercial claim and they have billing, you've called the receptionist, etc. So you can kind of get that information as well. Of course, the last tab here is messages and we're going to cover that a bit more in detail in the activity log and message archive when you're sending email messages into a claim. If we can't figure out where it goes, we will throw it up here for moderation. There is one waiting in review. That is why this message indicator upstairs, up top say that it's waiting for review. If everything has cleared through and filed properly into your claim wizard system, as far as emails go, this will say zero. So you may see a high number here, but it will not be reflected in your notification up top. 